like, are you guys together? And and we said yes, and they they said that they could tell through our music. So okay. So yeah, it's very interesting. Just the way that I conceptualize things, I mean, compared to like an instrumentalist, I'll be like, I want the bass to sound like a heartbeat or something like that. You know? <laughs> and it'll okay, be very... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Communicate. It would translate that sort of airiferiness. Like, like you <laughs> know, it's it. expressive, expressiveness, right? It's, again, it's yeah. how you conceive things, right? So you conceive things through feeling because you're a singer. It's not, it's yeah. not, it's not, you can't, you don't physically play any notes. You just... Yeah, it's you know. all feeling. It's feeling inside yeah. your head, like literally inside your head. Really, I'm, so, I'm physically literal. Yeah. So it's like, you what, what is do, that actually? Yeah, you don't press any any buttons or anything. Mm. It's just all feeling, and it changes day to day as well. So you know, like it depends how you wake up, how you sound, you know, and what you're thinking and feeling in the moment, moment to moment in the song, that can control everything. So. The piano's going to be the same till the end of time. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, could we have a translation? Maybe you could say a few words in your language and you translate it. Maybe say your <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, well. I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, well, it was a hard beat, was it? Yeah. Well, it's it's sort of like, say we're playing a piece of music. Yeah. And we want to change something about it. Mm. And I'll say, you know, well, some musical jargon or whatever you know should we do some something with this chord are we going to move that are we going to you know do whatever whatever it might be in that particular instance whereas for demi it's more of a feeling yeah if that makes mm. sense mm. and a visual thing for me so i like because i really like film as well so everything that i I do musically, I can see and image it. And that comes from an acting background to the imaging of like a monologue. And so... Like, say I played a chord. It's any chord. I don't know. What do you think of that chord? Grand. But how would you want to change it? You give me an adjective, sweetie. Make it more... Make it like a breath. So, you know, do, okay. what's, what's a breath? What's a breath? What's a breath? So I, I'm thinking... Breath is high. It's, it means I'm going to invert the chord differently. I'm going to add some extensions again, music jargon, um, which, like, if I say that to Demi, hey, do you want me to add some extensions? Not this time, whatever. Like, it, like what does <laughs> that translate? Like, Just give me breath. Yeah, yeah. Give me the breath. What, 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 it's like, what does that actually sound like? So we go from this grand, grand to something that's, you know, breathy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So if, if we were playing a song, and I played that chord and she said, no, it might, it's often much more subtle than that. Mm. Um, it could just mean the difference between me playing it like that or even playing something like uh, like this, you know, or just playing it short or something like that. Mm. But it, it really is, it's often subtle because it's a feeling. Well, this music translation thing is pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like you say what you want, just like how you imagined yeah. it and he yeah. really does all the hard things yeah. while yeah. translating it. On the actual keyboard. That's actually yeah. really good. Maybe another few more examples of... Ah, oh, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> putting Kailash through his pieces. Okay. Uh, okay, well, give me an... Oh, San, you could do this too. Just yeah. give me... Give me uh, so, San, give me an emotion. I'll play something and then maybe Demi can think uh, as how she would <laughs> she would picture that same emotion. So g- give me an adjective. An emotion. An adjective, an emotion, something, some description. If I give you a hard one, is that okay? That's fine. That's, <laughs> yeah. How about like um, satisfaction? Okay, satisfaction. That's a good one. I w- to me, satisfaction would be this. Mm-hmm. That's satisfaction. Yeah. Now, what do you think about that, sweetie? Do you agree? I mean, well, <laughs> yeah. I mm. mean, but like, yeah. I just... Is that satisfying enough? Maybe, yeah, I think maybe more power to it. Okay, more power. Yeah. More power, yeah. Okay, so what am I going to do for more power? (laughs) Yeah? I mean, yeah. More subtle? I think it could be more subtle than that. There you go. Yeah, there it's go. got a bit of the yeah. subtlety at the start yeah. and then it ends on like a powerful kind of 
Right. <laughs> there you go. There's, right. there's a cool mm. translation. Okay. Yeah. So is this the kind of process that you guys go through when you you know go look at a piece of music you both like and you want to perform and then you try and do a little bit of your own flavor to it? I suppose so. I mean, like when we were doing like one of the next songs that we'll do is shallow, and um, I think we were just like really just mucking around with it and just jamming. And so a lot of the time we can just um, like I'll have my own thoughts, obviously, but. Um, but we'll just be on the piano and we can be improvising as well. And sometimes for like 10, 15 minutes, just on one song or one verse, we'll just be improvising and like rounding it out. And, um, and then, you know, Kalish might do something. And I'll be like, that's the one. Okay. And then we mm. do that. All right. So. Mm. Yeah, can you show us a bit of your improv? Improvisation. Sure. Mm. changes of the tone and the vibe and like here and there um so yeah. yeah what was your process well i mean basically because uh, as you may know the, the the film version is it's it's primarily done on the guitar right it's got more of this rock vibe to it so whenever you're translating a song that uses different instrumentation you're always going to have this this gap because the guitar has its own idiosyncrasies that you don't really translate onto the piano they don't give the same effect 
you know, something that sounds fantastic on the guitar, if you literally played the same notes on the piano, it's not going to sound as good. So the piano has its own idiosyncrasies again. So essentially what we do is, you know, we just find out the chords, the very the basic structure of the song, the backbone that makes it what it is. And then we start to play around with that. So I'm thinking, okay, the original chords are it, that basic, uh, you know, they're just standard chords. And then that's not really us. So I turn it into, this has got a bit of a different flavor to it. You know what I mean? And then Demi comes in and adds a little something. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. yeah. 